Why do I love this Sniper EFI? This system makes my 30 year old car with a 30 year old engine start and run like it's a brand new car. Not only that, it looks like a trophy on top of the engine. And then on top of that, it's the cleanest install system I've actually seen. I mean, this is like, yeah, you got your wire coming over here, you got your oxygen system wire going around there, and you got a few wires coming off there for your engine management stuff, but, yeah, it's been on here for a few months, so it's a little bit dirty, but, it plugged right into the um, original temperature sensor connector that was already on the car. Of course, they give you that, they give you an oxygen sensor, and the rest of the sensors, like the TPS, out air control, all that stuff is either in or on the actual throttle body. The only bad thing I've really found is that there is no place for your cruise control cable. Of course, I don't need transmission control because it's a old car, but you got a straight drive, you got you an old automatic, it's not electronic. You're one want to run up to six hundred six hundred and fifty horsepower. This is a system for you. And the reason why this can run six hundred and fifty horsepower is because of the Walbro fuel pump that actually sits in the tank that comes with the system. The fuel pump itself is like seventy seven dollars, but six hundred and fifty horsepower. And the system itself, twelve fifty. Man, you can't beat that. By the way, also, if you actually have a spread board intake like I have on my vehicle, I actually had to use a spread board gasket because the uh, Holly style gasket that came with it doesn't actually fit. Also, if you look in here, look at the throw. Mine won't open all the way right now because I still gotta get a spacer for it. <clears throat> because the holes are drilled out just for the Rochester style quadrajet. Mm, no big deal. They have one inch spacer. But how easy do I want right now? Because this system, it's like, it don't matter if it's, you know, engine's dirty or not, it responds. <laughs> Of course, I got it comes with a whole bunch of this wire lumen stuff to cover up all your wires. So I got most of mine covered right here. Got some of the power coming up here. Which I didn't really have my power wires because I won't be able to see them. But most of the rest of the wires, I have them covered up. Got my rail going to my ground relay right here for my electric fan. Just gotta find out which one of those wires is that your ground because that triggers. You're what your fan. Let's see. Now, as far as the back, if you have like a third gen Camaro or Firebird, uh, I put the uh, fuel pump so that it comes down from the uh, tank, loops down, does a 1A, goes to the fuel pump. Heads back up, it goes into the original line. And it wasn't that hard. Let's see. They have locked in place, can't get it now. But. Anyways, it comes with a pre filter, it comes with a post filter, which I have right there. But it gives you all a whole bunch of hose. The more hose I know what to do with. But another thing is, you might want to, once you get system, you need to go ahead and change your idle to wherever you want to, and then also change your air fuel ratio to wherever you want to. From the factory, the air fuel ratio, it said like 13.5 to 1. A little bit rich for me, so I set my own 14.7. Uh, I set my idle 800, but another thing is also. So you just nice close up on this. Put come on, just 
Well, it doesn't want to adjust right now. But after you get the system, you might want to go into tuning, go to advanced, go to advanced idle, and the IAC speed. Okay, that's wrong. I'm sorry. Ramp up. Now, uh, come on, focus. Well, I got mine set at zero. From the factory, it comes as a 30%. So whenever you're touching the throttle, it's actually detecting that and open the idle air control 30%. Which, of course, causes it to use extra fuel. So I set it at zero. And... I'm getting better gas mileage with it, about 20% better gas mileage. But I, mean, I gotta say, man, it was it was an easy install, and man, you just some hoses, some wiring. You got your positive negative over there. Got your uh, fuel pump wire right here. Let's see, the pink one for your signal. And then the yellow for your tack signal. Which I just have it going straight to my tack over here. I have no tack inside except for the F5 system, which that display shows eight different parameters of uh, what's going on with the engine, including the uh, idle. There's actually two different things for idle. One's digital. One's like an analog gauge, but it's also a real digital readout as well. But, I, I tell you what, also, it's like when it's running, you can adjust the air fuel ratio while it's running, and then your RPM, you can adjust it while it's running as well. Everything else has to be tampered with when it's actually not running. But, you know, I set my fan speed, the idle, and idle air control. I'll tell you what, man, it's a it's a plug and play system, like they say. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm definitely I'm feeling the power. You know, it don't matter if your engine is clean or dirty. You want I, I can feel the power. Um, 